All right, welcome to the Algebra 2 Unit 1 review. Um, this is going to be a pretty short video. I'm going to briefly discuss how I would um, go about studying kind of the overview of the unit and then give you some extra problems to work on, um, some of which will be a little more challenging so that if you want to push yourself, um, you can. First thing I want to do is talk a little bit about the overall unit, um, talk about the flow of the unit and, and you know, make sure that we're on track with how it relates to one another. So for the first uh, six lessons or so, we talked about quadratic functions and context, worked a lot on graphing and finding roots um, in the vertex and the y-intercept in order to then answer some real-world questions um, that involve a quadratic function. We looked at the relationship between profit, revenue, and cost, writing a profit function, um, and then analyzing uh, that profit function using um, you know, what we know about quadratic functions. And then also fitting a function um, to some data. So if we had some data, we were able to look at it and decide whether we wanted to use a linear or quadratic model and then used a calculator to um, fit a function to that data and use that function to um, answer some more questions about the situation, maybe predict some future values. Um, then we moved on from quadratic functions in context to talking more about just quadratic functions and equations and analyzing and manipulating them. So we looked at quadratic functions with complex roots, talked about how the discriminant is important there. We solved systems of equations that involved quadratic functions. Um, remember that was when we were finding the, the points of intersection between, um, you know, for example, between a circle and a line. We looked at the vertex form of a quadratic function. We related it to the standard form, talked about how it's useful and in some ways how it's not as useful as standard form. We worked on some transformations of quadratic functions um, and then also uh, even in odd functions and that will be bridging us into the next unit. So um, obviously anything from the whole unit is you know, could be um, on the test and, and most likely will be. Um, and so in order to prepare, you should make sure that you've gone through each lesson, that you understand how to do all the problems from the lessons, from what we did in class, any tasks that we have. Um, and then, and only then, should you go on to the review and try that as a final prep. So if you, are, you know, are still feeling shaky on stuff from the beginning of the unit, don't jump into the review problems right now. Go back, go through your notes. If you had questions about things, you can always go back and rewatch the video, or you can send me an email with questions, of course. Um, and uh, that way, you'll, when you go to the review questions, you'll be more prepared. Um, what I like to do is, if I were studying for this test, I would do just that. I would go through each uh, lesson from the unit. I would redo. Um, problems maybe that I've starred or that look you know complicated or in just all problems if I'm really struggling with something. Then after that um, I would go and I would take the review uh, questions as a test, um, see how I did. Um, I will post the solutions to that um, at some point, uh, probably not till either later in the weekend or on Monday because um, that will be our review day. Um, and so you can take a look at those and, and compare and see how you did. As far as helpful tips for when you're actually working through problems, I can't say this enough. Practice understanding the problem. What are you trying to find? What is it that you know? Um, create a plan for yourself. Then follow your plan. If you're not doing that, you won't do it on the test and you'll waste a bunch of time and probably won't get um, as many points as you'd like. So uh, if you come across a question, maybe it's a long question, maybe you want to actually write out your, um, your understanding, you know, what am I trying to find, what am I looking for, um, and write out your plan. If it's something simple, make sure you just have a, a plan in your head and that you understand what you're looking for um, before you go into the problem. That will be very, very crucial. And in some cases, right, you'll actually be able to get more credit if you have a solid plan and understanding instead of just a bunch of work scribbled all over your paper. Okay, so here I will now put the questions up um, for you to take a look at.